Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we are starting this uh, lang chain series where we will be creating a basic lang chain and uh, we will see how we can how we are going to set up the LLMs and uh, how we are going to invoke or call uh, these LLMs and get the output okay so stay tuned with me and uh, let's move to the okay so before moving into the into the code part what we are going to do i'm just giving you a highlight we are going to create a prompt okay we are going to create a prompt using a prompt template using a prompt template and we are going to pass this particular prompt template we are going to pass this particular prompt template to a llm okay llm and we are going to we are going to create a chain using this prompt and llm and we are getting, going to get the output using this okay so this is the motto of this particular video and we are going to get this done using the lang chain and uh, let's let me open my user studio and let's start proceeding this so this is my okay so let's create a python file and uh, so I'm using this my existing folder that is called Langchain AI Agents and for the environment what dependencies we need we will create a requirement file. So let's create a requirement file uh, called requirement.txt and whatever requirement we want it we will we will keep it here. Requirement okay. This is the requirement file and we are going to write all the requirements here let's create a python file here okay so i'm just going to create a python file that is so i'm just naming it as uh, basic basic llm call okay okay so what we are going to do we are going to set up a basic llm okay and for set up uh, we are going to use a, a chat model that is called a grok okay so I'm just I will be switching into the different uh, tabs also to show you what uh, Langchain supports okay so uh, Langchain supports chat models what are chat models so basically chat models are different type of uh, uh, models which uh, it provides okay where we can we can directly put the we can directly put the API key and we can start and the model name and we can start using those models so what different companies support the support this or provide the chat models so anthropic open ai olama microsoft these are some these are some companies which provides a chat models okay so you can directly go and integrate your chat models into the into your uh, lang chain code okay so before that what i'm going to do i'm just going to get the i'm going to create a account on grok what is grok so grok is basically a basically a website which can provide you free llms okay so i have already created a account let me show you so you can go here and you can uh, click on dev console you can use your google account so i will be using my google account here let's use this google account this is my google account and you will get into this particular this thing this console okay and here you can create an api key what you need to do you just need to create an api key okay and you just save it somewhere okay just create an api key and save it somewhere i'm just showing you the api key but i will blur it later on or i will remove it later on so this will be the api key and or just store it somewhere okay so i what i used to do i used to store it in one note so grok um, grok api key i just paste it somewhere and when you go to this uh, this playground part okay so when you go to this playground part you can select multiple models you have a llama play ai whisper mistral meta llama or distal uh, deep seek so for this particular uh, course we will be using deep seek because deep sea do not have any token limitations and we can uh, uh, run many command or we can test many thing here so i am going to use this and if you click on view code here you could see that this will be the code for connecting to grok but i am not going to use it we already we langchain this grok has already provided a langchain uh, library for that so what i'm going to do let's move to vs code and uh, so i'm going to use this particular langchain from okay basic llm call okay it should be dot 
dot py okay this langchain underscore grok import grok chat grok okay so this particular chat grok where what we need to do we need to just provide the uh, provide the api key and based on this api key it will uh, do the things okay i will import the os import os from dot env import load env okay so i'm just going to put this particular uh, api key into my dot env file okay so this is my dot env file and in this dot env file i'm just putting the api key as deep seek api key okay i will remove it don't worry uh, so this will not work for you guys so this will be the thing and uh, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this chat model, okay? So I'm just going to create a variable lm and grok chat grok. So this will be the mo this will be the uh, class which I'm going to use, and here you could see it could have name. They have multiple parameters, and these are the parameters which we are going to use, okay? I'm going to use these mo this particular model that is will be. Uh, model that will be deep seek r1 distill llama 70 b okay i'm going to use this particular model so this is one thing for requirements also i'm just writing here langchain underscore grok dot env so this is what we are going to use now what we are going to do we are going to create a prompt template okay so let's create a prompt template name it as prompt create a variable and we i will be I will be creating a prompt here and I'm writing you you are a Python developer which and provides Python code so this is what I'm writing for now we will do multiple things so what we can do this is a prompt and uh, what we are, we are going to do we are going to get the question just create Python code for below question okay this is what we are going to do and i'm just putting a variable here that is called question now what we are, we are going to do we are going to import a class import a class called prompt template langchain code dot prompts prompts okay and import prompt template so i'm going to you import this particular prompt template also okay so we want langchain core also so i'm just putting langchain core here okay so this is uh, so we have created a basic uh, prompt and uh, based on pr this particular prompt we will create a prompt template so we will create a prompt 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 for llm equal to prompt template prompt template prompt so i am going to use this particular prompt here sorry template so i'm just going to pass the template the above template which i have created i'm just going to pass this prompt here that's it okay i'm going to do that and what i'm going to use i'm just going to create a chain okay so for creating a chain what you can do i can create a agent or you can write chain chain equal to prompt for llm for okay and there must be an input variable so here you could see that i have added a question here okay and this would be the input variable for this particular prompt okay so i need to i need to create an input variable for that and write it as question so this will be the input variable for this so okay this is what is the input variable for this prompt then i will be providing i will be creating a chain and the chain works like the value of left and right will be passed to the right so i will be creating a chain where first we are using the prompt and this prompt will be will be passed to the llm llm okay and i will write chain dot invoke and i will write it like uh, write a code add two numbers and let's execute it and let's see what happens okay so the api key okay so the api key is not available here okay so i need to add a i need to add a api key here okay so load load environment variables control v okay this will be the environment variable for get pass import get pass so i need get pass also so if i execute it now let's see okay we want to print it also okay so this is the 
this is what I haven't done let's print it okay so here you could see it's start thinking okay and it is created the code so let's see adding two numbers in Python where num1 equal to num2 num3 equal to num4 so here it is created that particular data but it is not formatted for this particular formatting what we are going to do we are going to use the output parsers here okay this is the basic uh, code for creating llm chain so uh, in the next video what we will do we will create our uh, we will create a react agent and let's see how does it work okay thank you for watching my video if you really think that i am doing some good work and i'm helping you in in some way please do like subscribe uh, my youtube channel and uh, uh, thank you for watching this video